beeps and, you know, gives you an indication that it's doing more than just idling, then, of course, you found the source of your problem. You have to find a way to work around it. If it doesn't beep, then what you have to do is you have to work your way in that procedure, removing components one after the other until you have, as you can see in this example, no RAM connected, no uh, expansion cards connected, including video and any other various PCI expansion cards, no um, optical drives, no hard drives, no floppy drives if anybody still uses them, and uh, yeah, essentially you have a motherboard with nothing but a CPU, a heatsink, a fan, and a power supply connected. And if it's still not beeping, where do you go from there? From that point, what you need to do is you need to advance to the next step, which is what I have right here. So let me show you how to handle that. So, uh, on this subject, I'm going to jump topic a bit and touch on to another possible issue that you can be having. If you find yourself in a situation where you power up your computer, and your computer powers on for about a, a, a mere second or more, a couple of seconds, powers on and then it immediately just shuts down. The power just kills, everything just stops, pressing the power